Welcome back to the Culture Shock. Today we're going to talk about maintaining our wealth. Guys, in Proverbs 23 verse 5, it says, In a blink of an eye, wealth will disappear. It will sprout wings and fly away like an eagle. Guys, when you are saving up money, you're building up your wealth. Maybe you're starting your three to six months of emergency living expenses, then be careful. Be careful on how you spend your money. Learn to budget. We don't want our wealth just to disappear. That's why when people hit the jackpot or they win the Powerball, guess what? They go broke because wealth comes and goes. If we do not manage our money, then we're going to be broke. How many of you have good jobs? How many of you have anything in savings? We can't always blame inflation. Most of the time, the reason why we don't have savings accounts is because we blew our money. And this comes even before the inflation really hit back in 2021, 2022 when it really started ramping up. But if we start building our wealth right now, slow and steady, they always say, wins the race. Guess what? We, we can manage our money long-term. But when you have wealth, guys, make sure you give to charities. So we are not just gonna be selfish with our money. Whether you go to church or you're not a Christian, maybe you have charities that you want to give to. Give to something. You don't have to give to your family and friends. But take care of your wealth. Build up your wealth. It's okay to have wealth. There are a lot of people in the Bible that had wealth in the Old Testament. And it was okay. I'm not saying wealth is bad. But do it in a good way. Invest it. Save it. Give to charities. Enjoy your life. Pay your bills. Pay your taxes. But just make sure you don't blow through your wealth. When you get a paycheck, put some of it aside for your church, for your charities, for the right things in life. There are a lot of young people who get paid and blow their money. They don't put anything away for emergencies. They just go on and keep on blowing their money. Some of, sometimes they end up moving back to their parents because they can't pay their rent. I don't want any of you to be like that. I want you guys to build your wealth. Invest your money. Give to the things that matter to you. Whether that's an animal shelter or animal cause or a church or a homeless shelter or whatever you give to. I want you guys to give so your money doesn't just come and go. Some people, they get paid, but there's nothing to show for their money or with their money. So, guys, take care of your finances. Even in today's age, young people are still blowing through money, just like any other age, any other generation. I'm not going to blame you guys, but it's sometimes it's a young person problem. It's a everything, everybody problem, I should say, because there are people my age that don't even have a savings account. They only have one checking account, which is foolish. They don't, sometimes they don't even have nothing in there. There was a teller that told me that uh, one time... When she was checking a person's account, there was only like a couple of dollars in there. And he was trying to flirt with her. 
guess what? If you're going to try to flirt with someone, at least have a little bit of wealth. But I'm not saying use money to get in relationships. What I'm saying is take care of your wealth. Don't tell anybody how much money you have in your account. That's why I always use general terms of how much I have in my account. I don't tell you the exact amount. I give a certain amount away. I put some into investments. I I do what I say I'm going to do, guys. I give to charities. It might not be a lot. If I was a millionaire, it would be a lot more. But guys, just take care of your finances. Don't hurt yourself in the future. If you watch Dave Ramsey or The Ramsey Show, then you'll, you'll listen to a bunch of stories of how people went broke because of materialistic things. I'm not saying it's not... I'm not saying it's bad to have material things, but build up your wealth first, then get those others later on. Build up your wealth. That's all I'm saying. Maybe if you have grandkids or you're planning on having kids, maybe someday you're going to give them an inheritance. Then that's awesome. That's generational wealth. So... Keep on building your wealth. Don't spend foolishly. Be wise with what you purchase. Be wise with where you invest. Be wise with what you give to. Make sure it's eternal or at least helping others. We don't always have to be selfish and just give everything to ourselves. Maybe build a business with your wealth. Who knows what you can do? Don't don't just go broke every paycheck. Don't live paycheck to paycheck. Now that's foolishness. That's the money sprouting up, sprouting wings and flying away like an eagle. Money comes and goes. I have my emergency funds I have investments I have charities so if I went broke I I usually tell people money comes and goes if I treat them out to a dinner a friend to a dinner a lunch a coffee whatever because spending time with them is more important than having a lot of wealth time with people that's where my investments are. Investing in someone. Investing time with someone. So that's more important to me. I don't know what's important to you. Maybe you want cars. Who knows? I'm not going to limit you. But don't, don't blow it on just a car. Make sure there's enough to pay your bills. To do everything you need to do. First, and then you can get your car. But just don't be foolish. I made foolish decisions in my 20s, early 20s. I blew it on dumb things, CDs, cell phones that weren't even as cool as these modern day phones. But what I'm saying is, be wise with your finances. I don't care if you're in your teenage years, if you're in your 20s, your 30s. It don't matter. Be wise. Start now. Start putting some money into savings. Whether it's $5, $10 a week, it don't matter. Just start somewhere. Start budgeting. Use the Every Dollar app. To budget. Every time you get paid. Budget. Put some away for certain things that you want. 
maybe have three accounts like I used to when I first started. I had one for my bills, one for savings, and one for my spending. I never struggled for rent. I never struggle on bills. I may have tough times, but I never struggle because that's how I did things. So you could try something like that. I don't know, but just try a budget. Find a budgeting system that works for you and stick with it. Keep building up your wealth. Don't be foolish like I was in my early 20s, guys. But that's what this video is on today. It's a little different than all the other culture shock because we all need to grow personally, spiritually, financially, in every way we can, physically. But today, we're growing financially. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you are growing in this video. So everybody stay awesome. Like and subscribe. I'm MR3. This is the Culture Shock, everybody.